Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela and here on this channel, I create beauty, fashion and lifestyle content and particularly for the woman over 40. Now in today's video, I'm gonna talk about my skin. I've gotten several requests from some of you asking me about how do I keep my skin healthy and glowing looking and um, and it is a, it's a process and it's steps that I take year around to make sure my skin is healthy and more nourished. I'm not really worried about the aesthetic. I do love having glowing skin, but I want to make sure my skin is healthy. And so there are steps that I take. I do change them up from summer to winter, but there are consistent things that I do to make sure I have healthy glowing skin. If you'd like to hear what those steps are and some of the things that I use on my skin to maintain this glow, then stay tuned now. Let's get started. Before we get started, this is my outfit of the day. We'll start with my earrings and they are these beautiful leaf earrings from Kendra Scott. You all would have seen these several times before. I have them in silver and I have them in gold. I wanted to wear them in silver today because I have on a white outfit and I just thought it would be really pretty. This dress, if you've watched, you would have seen this before as well. This is from Amazon. You know, I love me a white dress. I think it's pretty. It's perfect and very, very budget friendly. The shoes are the Gianna Bini shoes. I've talked about these before as well. I have them in three different colors. And right now they're on sale. I think they're under $40. If they're still available, I will put a link in the description box. So this is the turquoise. And I will pair these shoes with this purse that I've had for quite some time. I got it from Mango. It is a faux leather. I fell in love with the color. It looks like a snake print. I think it would look really, really pretty with this entire outfit. And for my scent of the day, I chose Idol by Lancome. And this is the bottle. It's leaning because I don't have, the new bottle comes with a stand where it stands up, but it's a thin flat bottle. It is a beautiful floral, fruity scent, more floral than fruity, but very, very feminine. I thought it would be a great addition to this ensemble here and just rounds it all up. Now, before I get started talking about the processes that I take and the products that I use to maintain healthy skin, I really wanna talk about the skin itself. Now, most of you already know, but some of you may not, that the skin is the largest organ that we all have. And it has lots of very important functions, not only to keep disease out and to maintain our moisture, it helps to control our body temperature, it's responsible for absorbing vitamins and nutrients. It gets vitamin D from the sun. It helps to maintain the moisture in our body and it's very, very important. Now, if you find that your skin is dull, it's not as happy and lively as you would like for it to be, there are numerous things that could be causing this. And the top five that I can think of are one, sodium intake. If you eat a lot of salt, I mean a lot of salt, and you could be doing that and not even know it. If you eat processed foods, they are full of salt or if you like adding a lot of salt in your food on your on your plate when you sit down and eat that could be causing some dullness in your skin salt just drains your skin of its moisture which in turn could cause dullness another thing that wreaks havoc on our skin is hormonal changes they really really impact the amount of moisture we have the amount of nutrients that are getting to the skin surface so if you're having hormonal issues that could be a cause of your skin being dull and not having a really bright vibrant look also, there are certain medications that will impact the vibrancy of your skin, the healthy glow that you would normally have. And once you start taking those medications, you know that there are some changes in your skin. And if that's happening to you, then maybe you could talk to your doctor about it and see if maybe they could switch up some of those medications. Another thing that will cause dull skin and impact the skin is excessive alcohol usage. And that's more than one or two drinks a day, several drinks a week. Drinking an excessive amount of alcohol interferes with the amount of blood flow that's going to your skin and then causes premature aging, which is also gonna dull your skin some. So if, you, if, the, if you're drinking an excessive amount of alcohol, that could be one thing that's causing dull skin. Another thing that could be causing dull skin is just not exfoliating your skin properly or routinely. Now, as we age, and if you're anywhere close to my age, once you hit above 40, 
45, then the skin turnover for us is about 28 to 45 days. That means you have a new skin cell, it's just sitting there for a month, a month and a half, and they're just building on top of one another. And they're not falling off like they did when we were younger, like every week or every two weeks. And so they're just building and they just get dull. You're trying to put moisturizer on those skin cells, but the moisturizer is just getting on top of your skin. It's just soaking into the dead skin cells and your new vibrant skin cells are up under that. And so you're just not seeing that nice, healthy glow, that nice shine. So we need to be exfoliating all of those dead skin cells off of our skin so that the nutrients that we need, the moisturizers that we're using, the serums that we're using, all are adding to the glow of our skin so that our skin is healthy and moisturized. And you can actually see that once you start exfoliating and using moisture and moisture barrier products on your skin. So now I'm gonna talk about some things that can help you maintain the glow of your skin without having products. The first thing that I do, and I've been doing this or I've been using this for probably a couple years now is a humidifier. I sleep with the humidifier on every single night. It started off because I was in Saudi Arabia and the air was just so dry. There was zero moisture and I would wake up in the morning coughing because I had some allergies and my nose would just be extremely dry and I would feel my face would just feel so dry. So I decided I'd just put a humidifier in my room and use some distilled water, close the door so that it's not floating out in the hallway. And I would feel a lot better when I woke up in the morning. I wasn't coughing, my nose didn't feel quite as dry, my skin didn't feel quite as dry. So ever since then, I use a humidifier every single night. Another thing I do is I make sure I use sunscreen. Now, I don't use sunscreen on most of my body. I do use sunscreen on my chest, on my neck, and on my face because I'm really worried about those part of my body uh, cracking <laughs> before anything else. So I'm really not concerned about my arms and the rest of my body, but I do use sunscreen. So the sunscreen not only helps to moisturize my skin, but it also prevents some of the damaging UV rays from the sun. So that's that are some of the things I do as well. Another thing that I do is I drink a lot of water. I've talked about this a lot. I've talked about it as a lot. It's like you can, your skin is not going to be moisturized. It's not going to look healthy if you're not drinking enough water. It's just, if you can do all the other things, it is still not going to look healthy and nourished and moisturized if you do not take in enough water. Now, also what I do is I use vitamins. I take a multivitamin every single day. It helps me sleep better, it helps me feel better, and it's nourishing for my skin. The skin needs nourishment, it needs vitamins, it needs nutrients, it needs minerals, as well as the rest of our body. So I use a humidifier, I drink lots of water throughout the day, I just sit the water on my desk. I don't personally like room temperature water, so I have me a, a big Yeti tumbler and a glass, and I put my ice and my water in there, and I just pour it, and I actually have a mason jar that has <laughs> that I use most of the time and it has the ounces on the mason jar so I know exactly how much water I've drank throughout the day I'm just pouring that when I get when it gets empty I pour some more and I drink it so I'm doing those three things and and also I don't eat a lot of salt I don't like a lot of salt now I do like a lot of salt on my french fries and on my grits but on my food i don't use a lot of salt whatsoever so i'm nourishing my body from the inside i'm drinking water i'm taking my vitamins i'm using the humidifier and i'm decreasing my sodium level and i don't drink that much alcohol i may have a glass of wine here or there but i don't drink that much alcohol so those things help to maintain the healthy status of my skin as well now i'm going to get into my skincare routine so what i make certain that I do is first of all I exfoliate probably three to four times a week now every now and then I have a really really busy week when I'm just not I'm just getting in the shower because I'm exhausted and my goal is to take a take a and I say bath I really take baths but I always say bath when, which means I'm in the shower I get in the um, shower I take my bath and I'm out and I'm going to bed because I'm exhausted but for the most part I'm exfoliating three to four times a week. Now I do that because my skin is extremely dry. By dry, I mean my feet never ever sweat. They never have. They never sweat. My skin is always dry. I have to put lotion and some oil on my skin every single day or it's just, going, it's just dry. I need something to moisturize my skin on the outside and then I try to, I try to. I need something to moisturize my skin on the outside and then I put a, a moisture barrier, some sort of oil on top of that to maintain the moisture to kind of keep it in as much as possible. 
So I use three things to exfoliate. Sometimes I'll use the gloves, depending on what I'm going off. I'm trying to reach my back or I just want to use the gloves. I use those. I also use an exfoliating towel and it's long because I can't reach the middle of my back with the gloves. So I'll show you what that looks like. And I can just get all the way to the bottom of my back. It's long enough for me to hold it here and hold it here. And just, you know how we do with our wash coughing and get the back surface and kind of go around like this to exfoliate my back as well. And the third thing I use is a sugar scrub. Now the sugar scrub I use is very, very special because it's made by my daughter. Most of you have been here, you've seen her in some of my videos. She does have a side business. She is a school teacher. She just got her master's degree from Johns Hopkins, <laughs> in case you didn't know. She did, but she also has a little body care line called Sha Butter. She makes uh, body butter. She makes a body hair and body oil and she makes a scalp treatment oil. So when I take my shower, I'm exfoliating after I, I take a bath, I wash, get the soap and I get everything off and then I'll go back and down and I'll exfoliate. Once I get out of the shower and I've dried off really well and uh, I, I don't usually get my back dry enough, my husband fusses. You always leave water on your back. But anyway, once I've dried off, I put a cream on and my favorite is CeraVe. I've been using it for Mm, probably a couple of years now. I think I saw Dr. Dre talking about it or I saw some dermatologist or um, on, on YouTube talking about how good it is. It has ceramides in it, which help to maintain the healthiness of your skin. So I use that, I put it all over. Now, depending on the season, in the spring and summertime, I use Shadia's body oil. Like today, I use her body oil. I put that on, on top of the cream. In the wintertime, most of the time, I use the body butter because it's heavier than the oil, and I'll put that on top of it. Um, and so that helps to not just moisturize my skin, the oil or the Sha butter helps to keep the moisture in while I'm sleeping. I I get up in the morning, exercise, take another shower, get out, put the CeraVe on again, and I put the oil on top of that. I don't use a whole lot. I don't have to use a lot. I, this is really, it's a really, really good body oil. I put it on, put my clothes on, and I'm out for my day. Now for my feet, I have a different process. I always use the Sha Butter for my feet because the skin on my feet, again, is very, very dry. I use one of these little paddles for my feet to exfoliate the skin on my feet, especially on my, especially, especially on my, the bottom of my foot because it gets very, very dry in my heels especially during the summer because I do not want to go out with cracked heels. I do this three or four times a week before I get into the shower. So I sit on the side of the tub, I get a towel, I put it on the floor. I wet this and um, I wet it because it gives a smoother finish when you finish. So I'll wet this and then I'll just sit there and exfoliate my heels in the bottom of my foot and any dead skin will fall on the towel. I know it sounds gross, but that's what I do. I do that and then when I get up, I wash this off. And the key to getting this clean, cause I couldn't figure out for a while, how do you get this clean? Cause you'll wash it and it just doesn't look clean. I have a toothbrush that I have just for cleaning this. I put some dial soap on it, take the toothbrush under the running water, go around and around and it cleans all the dead skin off of it. Then I take the toothbrush, I sit right here and I take a hair bowl, a hair tie, and I tie the toothbrush to this. That way I know that toothbrush is for cleaning this off and it's all together every single time I get ready to use it. And that's how I do my feet. Then I get in the shower, take my shower, get out, dry off, and I'll put the moisturizer, the CeraVe on my feet, and then I'll put the shy butter on top of that. And then most of the time I'll put a pair of cotton socks on after that, just kind of to help that moisture just to seep into my skin. And if you're like me, I cannot sleep in socks. So I'll get into bed and 10 minutes later, that's about as long as I take, I take the socks off, sit them in a the chair and I'm good. So that is how I maintain my healthy glowing skin. Well, that's it family. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Can you let me know in the comment section if you're using some different products or processes to make sure you are maintaining healthy, glowy skin? I really want to know what you all are using. Maybe there are some products I can add to my product list or some parts of a routine that you're using that I could actually put into my routine to maintain healthy, glowing skin. I really, really want to know. Now, no matter where you are in this world, I want you to have the most blessed, blessed day. Bye-bye.